Hello everyone and welcome to Optimal Training Group. It has been a while since I have posted videos. I'm glad to be back. Um, I've had some busy times at, at work and on in vacation, but I'm back and I'm hoping to be consistent again in posting videos. For those of you who are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. What I usually do at this channel is I do a lot of anything related to, to development and SharePoint. I may once in a while do something that's just out of the box without any coding. But I do a lot of Vue.js, Vue.defy. I may do some React in the future. Definitely some SPFX coming up soon. Um, but today, I'm going to be doing just vanilla JavaScript jQuery. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how I created this navigation um, dynamically what you're looking at here comes directly from a SharePoint list so it's not static if I went and I updated my list which I'll show you in a few minutes it'll um, it'll update so what I have is I have two lists I have a train navigation and in my train navigation I have what you see here was a drop down column URL URL name and the URL name is what goes across the top of my navigation. These are the items that you see on the navigational bar, horizontal. Home site, A site, B train. And then I have this drop down that identifies which one is going to have drop down items. So site A and training, as you can see, have drop down items. Site A, training, and site and site B and home don't. So site home no site B no then I have my sub navigation list and in my sub navigation list I have my parent nav and this parent nav is a lookup to my training navigation and it allows it is a lookup to this column here URL name and it allows you to select which one um, has that will have the children so site A will have site A and site B and then training will have site C and that's what you see is happening here site C there site A site B so let me show you how it works by adding something here so I was going to create an item uh, I don't really need that column so my parent nav I want to add some of the tra training and let's say it is I don't know. Um, view.org, I guess. And we're going to say view, you know, Vue.js framework. Save. And when I come here and I, as you can see, it just has site C, but when I refresh the page, It comes from my list, Site C, Vue.js Framework. And that's still the same. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. It works very well. Now, the idea came from W3Scholes. One day, looking for a navigation, you know, a client wanted an, a, a, a horizontal navigation. Um, and so I found this navigation here. And as you can see, first of all, it's responsive. See, responsive. And then here's the drop down. And so that's where this idea came from. And here's the code. So I essentially just kind of copied and pasted this CSS into a CSS file. And then I used DOM, um, the DOM API to recreate um, what you see here, but with the data coming from a list. And I'll show you how that works but let's go through this file really quick we have this knit div here it has this top nav and it's a wrapper around all the navigation data and as you can see the navigation data has links the the items and then it has this drop down and underneath this drop down it has this and these are the items that belong belong under that drop down you know so drop down link one link two link three and so that's what that is then it has this JavaScript here um, and then it has this here Ooh. 
I'm sorry, excuse me. So let me go to the file. Here is master page CSS file. So this is all the CSS that you saw in that W3 schools, dumped it in here, pasted it in there. And let me open up my master page really quick so I can show you. So I have this minimal master page that I created. So I have, I'm using jQuery. And then here is my global nav. So this is where all my DOM API manipulation is, is in here. I'm using Font Awesome. And Font Awesome is where the, the little icon for the drop down comes from. And if I scroll all the way down here, you see that I have, where is it? Right here. Div class equal to top nav and ID equal to my top nav. And, it, and then this little JavaScript here, oops. And if you remember, that's where all this is coming from. Right there, and then I have this top nav. Okay, so now let's go to global navigation and let me show you what's going on here. So I'm using jQuery and the REST API. I have this sub list. Um, I'm going to use that later on to dump all my data from my sub navigation in there um, so I can use it later. And so my get data, I pass it the list name. And if it's the training navigation, then you're going to use this endpoint URL. If it's a sub navigation, you're going to use this endpoint URL. And as you can see, I'm using expand because it's, it's a lookup field. I have a lookup field and I want the URL of my parent nav um, and, and the URL name as I am looping through my sub list list. So once I grab all that data, it dumps this into the sub list. If it's the um, sub navigation, if it's training navigation list, it passes that data to my build nav bar. And this build nav bar is what's is what's responsible for, you know, creating this, this home site A site B in training. And I'm, let me show you how I do that. So I'm gonna just open this up so you can compare. So I can compare. Um, let me close this a little bit. Let me open this up. Okay, so here's that top nav that's in my master page document. I get element by ID, so I have a, a reference to it. And then I am looping through the nav data. So this nav data is what's in my navigation my training navigation list that I showed you all earlier in the beginning. And as I am looping through, I'm 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 checking to see if the drop down is a no. If it's a no, I go through all this right here. So here is where I do my use my DOM API where I I um, I create this create L is basically just a shortcut. Where's my create L? Create L is just a shortcut uh, right here. Oh, this is just it's just a document that create element. It's just a shortcut to do that. So in my build nav bar, I am as I'm looping through, I check to see if if it's a no. I'm basically creating this. So I, I create the anchor tag, then I add the href, and this href is coming from my list, the URL from the list. Add it there. And then I append child, and then I append it to the top nav. And so that's what I'm doing as I'm looping through. So for all the ones that haven't known the drop down, this is what I'm doing. And then if it has a yes, meaning that it's going to have drop down values, um, I declare this build sub navigation. I have a build sub nav bar function and I am passing it the URL name, the, the value um, from my navigation list. So that navigation list that has a drop down. So for example, site A, it's going to be site A in here. I pass it. I'm sorry, in here. I pass it to sub nav bar to build sub nav bar and then it goes through this whole thing again but it's doing it for this. So I, um, I'm sorry, right here, right here. So I create my div 
create the drop down I create the button so button and then you have button here create the button and then you I add the, the class drop down um, I'm doing all that I come here I add my file carrot down and then I append it to this button and then append it to the div and then I create my div and I add my drop down content so I'm right here I create this div add this drop down content and then I loop through and add all the elements that belongs to that URL name that I passed in I'm I'm cr going through the creation here again so I'm going through the creation here looping through and I'm, I'm creating everything here so basically this is saying you know, if there's if there's a match you know I'm, I'm so if my let me go to my list oops so basically what I'm saying is if if my training navigation if this so URL so if site a matches this site a then you're gonna loop you looping through and you listing everything under here and that's what this is if this is equal to that then you create the links and then you append it and depend that and then you return it back you return everything you just created using a Dom API return it back to here and once it returns it here it just appends it to that top nav that I showed you in the master page and that's basically what I'm doing and I'll provide this file that's what I'm doing that's what this is I'll provide the the code um, and the specs and let you and, and let you um, kind of play with it yourself I'll put it in github and provide the link at the bottom um, but I hope you like this video stay tuned for my next video in my next video I'm going to show you how to create a mega menu so let me pause this really quick and bring that up so you can see okay I'm back I unpaused it so here it is boom here's my mega menu here a mini mega mega menu I'm not a CSS master so I'm sure you guys can probably make this much much prettier than um, than I did and I'm using four lists but I'm gonna go over that in my next video so I hope you enjoyed this video um, give it a like subscribe share with others and thanks for your support bye